Hello, welcome to the Bakwas channel for self-paced tutorials on Internet of Things. This presentation is an introductory and very, very nominal example on making OpenCV work under Android. Using, of course, Android Studio in the style of a Hello World exercise. Owing to the tremendous popularity of OpenCV, a pre-built version exists for use in developing applications under Android Studio. This presentation highlights the settings to use this pre-built OpenCV module in Android. The development tasks are performed in Android Studio. The demonstration is limited to illustrating the inclusion of the OpenCV library in an Android app that simply confirms that the library has been loaded. The integration between OpenCV and Android requires two important settings to be configured. After the module is imported and the dependency defined in Android Studio, the simplest build and launch activities are illustrated. Fortunately, for most of us newbies, OpenCV for Android is available as an SDK. There is no need to build it from source, however tempting that might seem to users who have done so successfully on other platforms. The OpenCV SDK for Android is published with each release in due course without delay. Furthermore, there are tutorials on basic Android development, OpenCV SDK, and examples on using OpenCV functions and features. The latest OpenCV release for Android is available at GitHub site listed on the slide. Download the zip archive and validate it with the published SHA-256 sum. Unzip the archive and make a note of the fully qualified name for the SDK subfolder. This value is required to import the module into an Android Studio project. Let us get started with the simplest Android Studio project to illustrate the integration of OpenCV for Android apps. From the menu bar, select New Project. In the New Project window, select Empty Activity. In the Empty Activity page, change text field values as appropriate. When all changes are complete, click the Finish button. The 
The two operations that serve the integration hooks to OpenCV are import module and declare dependencies. The steps to complete these operations are documented in the build.gradle file for OpenCV SDK for Android. If the graphical user interface to perform these operations owing to version changes in Android Studio proved to be difficult, the documentation provides information on the manual changes that can be used as an alternative method to link the OpenCV SDK to the Android Studio project. From the main menu bar in Android Studio, drill down as follows. File, New, Import Module. On the Import Module page, for the text value for source directory, select the OpenCV SDK folder that was extracted from the zip archive earlier. Then select the Finish button. The selected module should now appear on the left nav pane. From the menu bar, navigate as follows. Select File, then Project Structure. On the Project Structure page, on the left nav pane, select Dependencies. On the main pane, under Modules, select App. Under All Dependencies, select the plus button to add Module Dependency. On the Module Dependency page, in Step 1, select the module OpenCV. In Step 2, retain the default entry implementation. Select the OK button. Alternatively, the build.gradle file can be edited as shown on the slide. In Android Studio, from the toolbar, select Make Project button. It is the one with the green hammer. Open the Build window and review the messages. If everything went well, then a Build Successful message should appear towards the end of the listing. This operation was simply a sanity check. From the toolbar again, select the Run App button, which is represented by the classic Play button in green. Assuming that you have previously configured your Android Studio for virtual machines, the app should display the Hello World message in due course. Of course, you can run the app on a physical machine too. This is where the tire meets the road. Let us suspend the slide presentations 
and move on to the demonstrations from start to finish. To download the OpenCV SDK for Android, navigate to github.com slash OpenCV slash OpenCV slash releases. You will see the latest version listed up there. Drill down and you'll see the Android SDK zip archive. Click on it, it's 207 megabytes, and it'll be downloaded to your folder on your desktop. Once that's complete, you can go ahead and extract it to a folder, preferably as we show here, OpenCV with the same name right at the top. Open that folder and look for the SDK folder and make a note of the location. It is very important to have a full reference to this location so that when you launch Android Studio, in this case Android Studio Dolphin Edition, uh, you will have to go and retrieve the SDK from that folder. Start a new project and select empty activity and then change anything that you want in the name or any of the other fields and click finish. Once that's done, you'll be able to see in the project pane a bunch of files. Now we have to go ahead and import the module. You can see here we have the app, but we don't have OpenCV included as yet. So we go to the file in the menu bar and select New, Import Module. An import module, this is where we reference the SDK that we just saw a little earlier. So you drill down, in our case here, to the Downloads folder, and then from there to the Android SDK and look for the SDK subfolder itself, click OK. Now when that's done, you need to change the module name to OpenCV because SDK doesn't sound uh, nice, so it'll be easier for you to relate to this, and then click on Finish. Once that's completed, uh, then you will have to go and perform the dependency. So. At this stage, you'll see OpenCV as a folder in the, in the project pane and go and select File. And under File, you can then go ahead and select Dependencies. So Project Structure. And then we make sure that we have selected Dependencies in the left pane and then we go ahead and select app and click on all dependencies and once you select all dependencies you will see add module dependency for OpenCV click on OK and you see that nothing shows up uh, this is because we made the mistake of not selecting the app for the open so we go back and we can do this in settings.gradle or we can do it properly one more time by making sure we select app and then we select the plus sign and then we select module dependency and now you can see OpenCV shows up and you click on OK. Make sure it's the implementation. Once that's done, click on OK and now you're ready to build the, the project. So there may be some errors uh, when you sync Gradle at this stage because of the target SDK. Just make sure that you, you hook up with the same SDK that you want to use that OpenCV depends on as a minimum. So in this case here, we'll just go ahead and select the Make project and immediately you know, it'll tell us that there are a few unfinished tasks that have to be done. And it's essentially going back and changing the target SDK back to the correct version and we can go back and make it again and in that case you will see the build successful message in the build window pane.
once the target SDK is changed to the correct version, uh, you will not encounter any further errors in running the make. So you see here we have it now here, all set, and we go ahead and perform the build one more time. The build completes, and obviously, you know, if you want to look at more information there, you can look at the build analyze output. At this stage, we can just simply run the app because it's a simple hello world exercise with nothing else in there. Uh, assuming a virtual machine has already been defined, and there you see the hello world example shows up immediately, and it's an open CV2 demo. This demonstration was limited to very simple and basic tasks. To demonstrate the integration of OpenCV SDK for Android within an Android mobile app, the SDK was downloaded from the official site. A new project was started in Android Studio where the OpenCV module was included and set as a dependency. Then the basic build and launch activities concluded the exercise. That's all folks, please provide feedback in any which way you can. This presentation was prepared with assistance as noted on the slide. My apologies if I have unintentionally omitted anyone or any resource. Thank you once again for watching this video.